So we're out here at Young Husband uh, at our trial site funded by Saget, looking at um, deep ripping and the benefits that uh, those sort of operations are bringing to Mallee soils. Uh, this is a particularly non-wetting soil and this year has been quite a challenge for non-wetting. So here we're looking at our, we've got two control treatments here. On my right, we've got our control treatment um, just sown um, without any wetter. And on our left, we've got our control treatment we're sown with our wetter. So there's about a difference um, in uh, plant population of about 20 plants per metre square here. Um, the control without the wetter um, has got about 80 odd plants per metre squared, where our treatment, um, where we've applied the wetter, we've picked up another 20 to 25 plants per metre squared. So now we're looking at a comparison between deep ripping on my right and spading on my left. So in terms of um, how these uh, management practices can help over address the problem of non-wetting, you can see here that spading has had a clear advantage uh, this year. Um, it's produced about 90 plants per metre squared, so it's got somewhere towards um, our treatment where we've um, used the wetters, which has been a really good result. Nice, even um, establishment down here. We can see the deep ripped uh, ground hasn't given us that soil mixing and therefore our plant establishment hasn't been quite as good as what we've got on our comparison spading treatments. So here we have about 70 plants per metre squared uh, in this treatment. So another treatment we've looked at in the trial is deep ripping with um, inclusion plates. And um, what we generally see with the inclusion plates is they can leave the soil a bit, um, a bit rough and um, sometimes we can have um, a little bit of a problem establishing the crop afterwards. So here's a couple of good examples here. Uh, on my left is inclusion ripping uh, with organic matter injected um, down the profile. Uh, here's just inclusion ripping without organic matter. You can see they've suffered a bit of a penalty here um, in terms of um, plant establishment, especially when we compare it um, to what we're seeing in our spading treatment, uh, which is here, uh, which is much earlier establishment because that spading is addressed on a wetting um, surface here uh, a little better. So we saw the inclusion plate um, treatment um, before with some poorer establishment but there is quite a lot of variability at the site and you can see that this treatment where we've been able to get uh, well in this particular plot establishment has been a lot better and we've been able to get some vigorous uh, early growth. So one of the other factors we're looking at in the trial is a lot of the local growers um, are really interested in if they're going to the expense of deep ripping or spading or other options. Um, is there some organic amendments and is it cost effective putting those out uh, at the same time? So on my left, we've got um, a chicken litter compost um, that we've um, applied at about five tonnes per hectare, and on my right, we've got um, the same deep rip treatment without um, any organic matter amendment at all. So we're looking at the um, the overarching benefit of deep ripping compared to using um, some of the more organic um, inputs that are available um, within this region.